Hey everyone, it's Arlene here. I received several requests for the measurements for this card with a box of surprises inside. So I wanted to put this video together to show you how to create the outer part of the card as well as the box that's inside. So I have this project up on my channel, so I'm not going to go into too much detail with you guys, but I just want to show you what the outer part of the card looks like. Looks like that. And then inside is a box that you can insert a treat or a gift for your loved one. And it's perfect for this holiday season as a little stocking stuffer. Um, I just threw some Hershey's in there for the heck of it. But you can put pretty much anything in here. Gift card, Godiva chocolate, um, whatever you'd like. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create the outer part of the card as well as the box. And I'll give you all the measurements that you need. So the supplies that you'll need to create the box and the card are a score a scoreboard. I'm using my Martha Stewart one uh, this time, but you can use your score pal. A paper cutter, a nice bone folder, and a couple of pieces of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. Now I use paper tray ink craft cardstock. To me, um, my cards tend to be very heavy and lots of layers, and this uh, the durability of this cardstock is really nice. So I'm gonna use that to create the box and the base of my card. So let's go ahead and trim down the outer part of the card first and then I'll show you how to do the box. So the measurements for the outer part of the box is eight and a half by eight and seven eighths. Okay and I'll have all the measurements up there on the screen so that you guys can see. So of course this is an eight and a half by eleven sheet so you're not you don't need to cut this. This is already eight and a half so I'm going to trim this side down to eight and seven eighths. So if you don't know what 7 8 is, it's just that one little line to the right of number 9 on your paper trimmer. Okay, so that's where 7 8 is. So 8 and 7 8. Okay, trim that down. And let me get this out of the way and get my scoreboard out. And you're going to stick it on your scoreboard with the 8 and 7 8 side up against the, um, the top rim there. Okay. Now what you're going to do is score at four inches on both sides. So I'm at four inches here, so I'm going to score. And then you're going to flip it around and you're going to score at four inches again. Okay, now I'm going to take my little bone folder here get this out of the way. And I'm going to burnish it at the score lines. Okay, and this is what you get. All right, so this is going to be the outer part of your card. So just to show you that in relation to the actual finished project, this is what you have so far, okay? Now if you want, you can round off the corners with your corner chomper, or you can use a decorative edge to punch out the corners, however you'd like. Um, I decided to keep mine just a straight edge. Okay, so we're done with the base. Let's get that out of the way. Now, for the actual box, you're only going to need um, an 8.5 by 11 sheet. And you can get the top of the box and the bottom of the box created with this. Okay, now the measurements for the bottom is 5 and a quarter by 7 inches. Okay, so I'm going to cut this way. And I'm going to cut it at five and a quarter by seven inches. Okay, so that's the bottom of my box, okay? So let's set that aside. Now for the box top, you need to make that just slightly bigger so the fit is not so snug. So what I've done is, in terms of measurements, is I've added 1 16th of an inch to both the length and the width of my trim, of, if that makes sense. So basically the bottom, the, the measurements are, and I'll have it up on the screen, is 5 and a quarter plus 1 16th of an inch by 7 and 1 16th. And the reason why I said 5 and a quarter plus 1 16th of an inch, um, it just, it's just a lot easier um, to do the measurement when you're on your trimmer. Um, okay, when my, with my trimmer it's a little tricky because I don't have a mark for five and a quarter and I'm using a Frisker's rotary um, paper trimmer. 
Okay, so what I do is a quarter of an inch is right where the bend of my trimmer starts right here. So all I do is just add 1 16th of an inch. And 7 and 1 16th of an inch, if you look at the 7 here on your trimmer, 1 16th of an inch is the first little line to the left of the 7 inch mark. Okay, so that's 1 16th. So my measurements again for the top box top are, and I'll just go ahead and cut here, is 5 and a quarter plus add 1 16th of an inch. So I put a little black mark on my trimmer just so I know exactly where that is. Okay, and then lengthwise is 7 and 1 16th. Like I said, you bring it to 7 and then the 1 16th mark is that one little bitty mark to the left of 7. Okay, and the reason why we're doing it just a smidgen again is because when you put your box top on, you don't want it to be too snug and kind of struggling with the measure, um, with putting it on and off, taking it on and off in the cards. All right, so in terms of scoring, you want to score at three quarters of an inch on both the length and the width. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. Okay, so you take your, so you take your scoring tool and you're going to score it at three quarters of an inch on every side. So where's three quarters of an inch? So here's a quarter of an inch, half an inch, three quarters of an inch. Okay, so three quarters of an inch and you just turn it and you do three quarters of an inch again. And you turn it and do three quarters of an inch again. And turn it and three quarters of an inch again. Yeah, this, this card sock's really thick, so sometimes it misses the score line. Okay, so basically this is what you got, all right? Three quarters of an inch in all the way around, okay? And you can do the same thing to the bottom part of your box. So now when you're done with all the scoring, let's start with the bottom of the box, okay? And you're just gonna need to get your scissors got my Tim Holtz scissors here and you're going to create some slits okay so that we can build the box so here all you want to do take it lengthwise is you want to cut in on the score lines up until you're gonna cut in this score line up until the score line meets the other one okay so just like that and you're gonna do it on lengthwise only what we're doing is we're creating the tabs to build the box. Okay, and you're cutting right on the score line. I think I missed this one. Okay, that one's fine. Okay, now when you got that done, what you're gonna do is you're going to angle. What we're trying to do is we're trying to create a little triangle because we're gonna create a tab to fold in and build the box. So you'll have the little slit here. What you want to do, and I just eyeball this, you don't have to measure it, you just cut a little triangle all the way up to where the score lines meet again. Okay, so it's going to look just like that. Okay, again, I don't measure this and there's really no need to because it's really just folding in the tab and having somewhere to build the box, uh, to pull the box together. Okay, so it looks like that. Here we go again. Little triangle up to where the score lines meet. Same on this side. Little triangle up to where the score lines meet. Okay, when you're done, this is what it looks like. Okay, you're gonna do the same exact thing to the top of your box. Okay, so once you have those done, you're gonna take your bone folder. And actually, this is probably the perfect time for you to decorate your um, your box. Now, since this is the bottom, I actually mark this one so I don't get confused um, as I'm doing it. This one says top, so this is the top of the box. This is the bottom of the box. Now, if this is the bottom of the box and you're going to be folding inward like this, okay, hold on, let's go ahead and build the box so that you can see what I mean. So basically, at this point, you just fold at the score lines, okay? 
if you're going to ink your box, like ink the edges and um, layer design paper, do it before you build the box. It makes it a lot easier. Okay, so this is what's going to happen when you build the box. You're going to pull these tabs in and we're going to use score tape um, to build the box. Okay, but it's essentially going to look like that. So at this point, um, this is the bottom of the box. You'll want to layer your design paper here. And you can do it after, but it's just a lot easier when you do it before you build the box. So put on your design paper, and then you're going to take your score tape. And I do recommend that you use um, a tape that has good quality stick so you don't lose uh, any candy or anything inside the box when it's in transit to um, to the recipient. Okay, so what you're going to do is put some score tape on the edge just like this. Okay, you guys can see that. Okay, now you just pull the score tape off and build your box and this is how you do it. Again, we're working with the bottom of the box. I'm going to take all of my score tape off first, all of the backings, and we'll build the box all at one time. And just for sake of this video, I'm not going to ink and do layer to paper, layer the paper on, but like I said, I recommend that you do all of that before you build the box. Okay, so these tabs just come in like so. And you want to line the top of the box with the tab, okay, just like that. Okay, so there you go. So you have the bottom of your box, okay, and of course your box will be nice and decorated. Oh, and when you build the bottom of your box, sorry, one other uh, piece that I forgot to, to let you know. Before you build the box or put the tabs on, make sure you add score tape to the back of the bottom of your box, okay? Because you're going to be putting the box down onto the card and you wanna make sure it doesn't fall off. So I put this bottom of the box down with score tape on the back side of the box, okay? So make sure you do that before, again, before you put the box together because it'll be hard to, to push down on the score tape to make sure that it's holding really well. Okay, so there's the bottom of your box. Now for the top of the box, before you do anything, what I recommend you do, if you plan on making the window uh, to your box like I did on mine, let me just show you again. Okay, I created this window using a Spellbinders die. Okay, so I used a smaller one and then with the design paper I use the nesting larger one okay so that I have a border around my window okay so you want to take your before you do anything in terms of building it you want to take your your um, your die I'm just taking the oval ones here and this is a CD case by the way if you're wondering I just it's just easy for me to put my nesting um, dies in there but you just basically run it through your die cutting machine okay and do that before again before you build your box. And then when you're done with that, I also recommend, but it's not necessary, you can go ahead and put the um, the acetate on or you can do it after, it doesn't matter. But basically the acetate is just a piece of square large enough to cover the, the opening and I use glossy accents to adhere it down, okay? So for sake of the video again, I'm not gonna do that, but you're gonna put your score tape on just like you did with the bottom. Okay. Okay. And just line them up like we did with the, the bottom of the box. Okay, and the top of your box just goes right on like that. Okay, so that is the box. It'll be decorated, obviously, when you're done, and um, it'll be adhered down once you've decorated over here and you have your score tape down here. It's actually quite simple. Um, you just kind of eyeball it and make sure that you put it exactly where um, 
in the center, or you can put it off to the side if you want to have like a, a photo or a sentiment here. You can actually put it this way, or you can put it in the center. I put mine in the center. Just make sure that before you adhere it down, you can easily, with the top on the box, you can easily open and shut your card, okay? So you don't want to have your box too far over the score line and it's not going to shut, okay? So it's going to look just like that inside. All right, so those are the measurements um, and how to put the box and the card uh, together. If you have any other questions, um, feel free to um, drop me an email, and my email is up on my blog. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.